Here we got some telemetry here. Let's see what kind of speeds we see. Dylan Hughes out front, 80, 80 something miles per hour. Dylan looks like he taps the wall. He's very familiar with this track. Two BMWs, Dude. two very different builds. Robert Thorne gets inside him. He shimmies his way, but Dylan Hughes fights back in a royal purple GT radio BMW. Transitions in that third outside zone. Robert Thorne backs off and now jumps to the side. Whoa, whammy. Holy cow. Rock of sock of BMWs. Robert Thorne. Board a mistake here if he's going for that championship here in 2023. Mike Power initiates. Frederick Osbo does have great proximity. Mike Power, look at, he is hitting his stride right now. Really good angle, that Type S, S15, into the power zone with that clean air. He is a new man. And now Frederick Osbo shows you why he's three-time champion. Get to the side of Mike Power. Now transitioning that last clip. And right there on the door, almost gets uh, into it. It's crazy, so. Here we go, James Dean leading Alec Robbins, giving chase. James Dean initiates. You can see him high on the bank. Robbins, great proximity, a little lower. But now drops in a formation. James Dean fills that second outside. So, oh my goodness. That's going to be. Oh, snap. Oh. You can almost feel the frustration oh. coming out. Von Kidd Jr. or Ryan Turk. Good initiation there by Von Kidd Jr. You see that Rain X Toyota GR Corolla jump to the side of the Ford Mustang. Two very different kind of attitudes of vehicle into that power alley. Massive angle there for Von Kidd Jr. Ryan Turk. Quickly let them get by, but then jump right back to the passenger, the, door, the driver's side of that oh, Ford Mustang and Von no Jr. Way. Just threw too much angle threw at outside. Too much so angle forth. at it. Today, it's going to come down to how well you chase and how well you manipulate that car and the proximity and filling those outside zones while navigating a car in front of you and the smoke. And Reader, wow. he is right there. He is just as high as Kazuya Taguchi. Taguchi now coming to the power alley. How's Reader going to handle this? He is buried in smoke. Absolutely. Here's a shovel. Come on, man. Dig yourself out of it. And into that inside clip. Both of them on it. Again, Reader very familiar with this track. He loves it. He knows it. Oh, no. Black and gold driven by Frederick Osbo. Ryan Turk. Whoa, whoa. Look at that. Quick, snappy initiation by Frederick Osbo. Ryan Turk. Failure to launch. He does get that proximity. Look at him just gaining ground. Whoa, look at that throwing more angle out of Frederick Osbo. Ryan Turk adjusts, going to that third outside zone. Frederick Osbo. Osbo missed it. The Ford Star wheels go round. Looks like Osbo said Ryan missed it a little bit there, but that, that was wild. The start line prior to that lead car. Now here we go. Into formation, tip to tail. Boom, right there. Rump Charpentier initiates. Tries to drag it up on the wall. Matt Field, you can see him get that proximity. Shimming their way into that power alley. Into that second outside zone. Matt oh. Field comes out of the smoke right there. Holy cow. An absolute magician. The magic stick is his handbrake. Oh, oh no. I was just going to say. Oh, no. The, the, Here we go. James Dean up front, across the nose of that vehicle. The AutoZone Mustang RTR Spec 5, James Dean. Every other RTR Mustang has a win. James Dean would love to get that. Three-time champion going against Odie Bakshis. Whoa, Odie Bakshis, look at that. Drops right in from outside zone two to three. Look at this, right on the door. Whoa, doctor, are you kidding me? Look at that. Oh, man, the place is erupting. Let me, let me play. That was so sick. Let me play. Coming out of the chute. Again, hitting 80 miles an hour. Rome Charpentier out front. At angle. And Chelsea taking a lower line here. Rome Charpentier doesn't look like he's got any issues at all now. In that third outside zone, Genova does have that proximity. Tucked back into the pocket, that big Ford Mustang. Now coming into that final outside zone. And Genofa, likely to probably everybody. So here we go, Simon Olsen, Jill the Dozer Hughes, initiated, Olsen, big massive angle. Dylan, little lower angle, but great proximity. Olsen is just on one right now. Simon Olsen into that second outside zone, the power rally. Look at Reader now coming in, into that inside clip. The amount of angle and the degree that he's throwing it at and holding onto it is absolutely insane. Turk's gotta bring it. Ryan Turk initiates. Chelsea Nova back there quite a bit. You can't give him too much room. Nice. Ryan Turk now reeling. into the power alley. He's reeling. And here goes to that second outside zone, uh -huh. into the third, into the power alley. <laughs> Ryan Turk into the third, into that inside clip. Five. This is all saying. Four. Three, three two, and two. one. Chelsea going Nova to is going to the finals. But I know locally, you're cheering for Dylan Hughes. Who's going to get it? Dylan Hughes initiates. 
Oh, he comes out of angle, but goes right back into it. The ladder allows James Dean some good proximity. Now coming off that fake, James Dean taking a bit of a lower line. In the power, Alex, and Sparks being thrown into that third outside zone. Into that inside clip. Snappy transition, nice job there by Dylan Hughes. Solid. Ryan, you talked about it, sun is setting. Yeah. Light best, the official lighting of Formula Drip. Dylan Dozer Hughes with that broken finger, trying to break some hearts and get the win. Great initiation, he is riding that wall, he is right there. Chelsea to for good proximity, Dylan Hughes. Oh, doctor, they go off course. Two tires for sure, He's gonna have to back that up. Overcooks it on that initiation. Goes off course and into that final outside zone. So Dylan overcooks your winner here at round six of the Formula Drift Pro Championship Evergreen Speedway. We'll see you in Utah or we'll see you at Irwindale or we'll see you online. Who's going to get the championship? Well, this gentleman moves one step closer. Your winner here in Monroe, Washington is Chelsea Denofa gets the win. Chelsea Denofa, the Penzo Mustang RTR Spec 5 FD gets the win. And win. <laughs> uh, but I don't think Dylan did that ex at all. Dylan just drove his heart out. And this man is the only driver with two wins in this 2023 season. Chelsea Denofa, congratulations. My goodness, that was not an easy uh day that you had here there was lots of one more times and they were all deserved i was like we're going again we both made mistakes and one time with turk i was even like i hope i get the one more time because from my end of it i was a little un like misunderstood if i won or i got one more time or whatnot but awesome runs and lots of laps and that's the goal is always to be the last one on track and do the most amount of laps and we did it so we went all the way to the top Absolutely, and what can you attribute those mistakes to? Because I don't, just such a tricky track, but in the end, you were able to fix everything, yeah or no? Yeah, it's really tough, and I think the thing is, is like every five or six years, the cars get so fast that we kind of outgrow a track, and it start makes, starts making the driving just a tick sloppy, and it's really hard to get that figured out. I mean, I had a bunch of mistakes today, and everybody else did as well. And so maybe next year we'll make the power alley a little bit bigger because we've got a lot more power now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our winner in Seattle, Chelsea Denopa.